Hey and welcome to another quick tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a grid to your screen. Okay, so I've just got a new room here, so create that now and then once you've done that, create a new object and call it OBJ grid or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. Alright, in the create event, we have a couple of variables. I'm just giving the stats for the grid. Okay, so we have the grid color, so that's the color that the grid is going to be drawn as, so in this case it's going to be C black, but you can change it to red, white, whatever you want. Alright, uh, the default color, so it's going to change it back to that color at the end of the script, so say you were doing a 3D game, you'd probably want your default color to be um, C white instead of C black. Alright, um, then you have GW and GH, which is the width and height of each cell in the grid. Um, change those freely. And then the width of the lines that are drawn. So in this case, I just left it as one. And then yy and xx is the starting point of the grid. So the top left point. All right, now in the draw event, this is where the grid gets drawn. So we start off by making a while loop. So while xx is lower than room width, or yy is lower than room height. And we check both of those because um, this makes the grid more dynamic. So this code is going to work whether your width is higher than your room height or whether your room height is higher than your width is the way it'll um, draw the grid, the like right width or height as a room. Right, um, then we draw, um, we set our color to whatever we set it for in the create event. And we get on to drawing our lines. So this is the vertical line. Uh, so xx for x1, 0 for y1, xx for x2, and then room height for y2, and then w for our width. It's pretty much the same thing in the next line, except instead of filling in y, um, y1 is 0, you fill in x1 is 0, then yy, uh, room width for x2, and yy for y2, and then our width again. Then we reset our color to the default color, which we set in the create event. And then we add um, our width and height variables to xx and yy so that we're ready to draw the next line. And then we reset xx and yy to zero at the end of the script so we're ready to start again on the next step. So because this is a while loop, it draws every line in the grid within one step. It doesn't like run through each step and draw a new line for each one. Okay, now that is essentially it. In fact, no, that is it for drawing the uh, grid. That will do it. But I've actually added in here, so I can scroll up, and it'll add one to my uh, cell height and width. And then, um, mouse wheel down, it'll take away one. So that's just so I can show you the uh, sizing difference. Okay, so just add your object anywhere in your room, and hit run. As you can see, we have a grid, so I'll scroll in, and you can see the uh, grid cells get bigger. So I'm going to scroll out, they get smaller. Yeah, that's it for drawing your grid. Um, I find this is good for like uh, things like level editors. So if you've got like a snap of like 16 or so, you can make a grid, and it just kind of helps see the snap better. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys out, um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.